For this hydrogen revolution to take place, some big obstacles need to be overcome. Buzzword in the world of energy. Hydrogen. 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 The wonders of hydrogen. Hydrogen is a clean and abundant fuel that has the potential to power everything from cars to homes to industries. It is a gas that produces no direct emissions when used to create or generate power. But one of the largest disadvantages of hydrogen energy is the cost of producing it. Thankfully, science at Rice University may have just had a breakthrough that could change everything. Join us as we look at solar hydrogen fuel cell that could change the world. Before we get started, it's important to know that there are two types of hydrogen, carbon-produced hydrogen and green hydrogen. A common misconception is that hydrogen is made from water, but 95% of the hydrogen produced today is actually made from fossil fuels like natural gas or coal. Although the hydrogen that it produces is technically clean energy, creating it is not. The second type is green hydrogen, which is created sustainably. They use a process called hydrolysis to turn water into electricity, but the cost is so high that it is unviable. This is why only 5% of hydrogen produced today is considered sustainable. But Rice University engineers have made an astonishing breakthrough in the field of renewable energy by developing an innovative device that can efficiently convert sunlight into hydrogen. This cutting-edge device is known as a photoelectrochemical cell, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we harness and store energy. This means that they can harness the immense power of our sun to turn water into green renewable hydrogen. The key to the device's exceptional performance lies in its unique design. By integrating next-generation halide perovskite semiconductors with high-performance electrocatalysts, the engineers have created a powerful synergy that greatly enhances the efficiency of the solar to hydrogen conversion process. The integration not only boosts the overall energy conversion efficiency, but also ensures that the device is durable, cost-effective, and scalable, making it a highly promising solution to practical implementation. Halide perovskite semiconductors have garnered significant attention in recent years due to their exceptional optoelectronic properties, which make them highly efficient at absorbing sunlight. When light is absorbed by these materials, it generates electrons and holes, initiating a photoelectrochemical reaction. These charge carriers are then efficiently separated and directed to the appropriate electrocatalyst, where they drive the electrochemical reaction that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. The result is a clean and green process that produces hydrogen, a valuable fuel, without any harmful greenhouse gas emissions. Aditya Mohite, an esteemed researcher leading the lab specializing in chemical and biomolecular engineering at Rice University, was the one who successfully developed an integrated photoreactor with remarkable capabilities. At the core of this cutting-edge device lies an ingenious design that incorporates advanced halide perovskite semiconductors with electrocatalysts. The key to its efficiency is the implementation of an anti-corrosion barrier strategically integrated to insulate the semiconductor from water, all while maintaining seamless electron transfer. This novel feature ensures the longevity and durability of the photoreactor, making it a cost-effective and scalable solution for solar to hydrogen conversion. The groundbreaking results of their research were published in the prestigious scientific journal Nature Communications. The device boasts an impressive 20.8 solar to hydrogen conversion efficiency, a significant leap forward in the quest for more efficient solar energy utilization. One of the lead authors of the study, Austin Fair, a doctoral student in chemical and biomolecular engineering, shared his enthusiasm for the project. He emphasized the important role of sunlight in manufacturing chemicals and its potential to drive a clean energy economy. While the utilization of sunlight for chemical synthesis has been a long-standing challenge, the team's ultimate goal is to develop economically feasible platforms that can generate solar-derived fuels with high efficiency. As the world grapples with the need to transition away from fossil fuels and reduce greenhouse gas emissions, research breakthroughs like this photoreactor offer a ray of hope.
By converting sunlight into hydrogen fuel, we can potentially revolutionize transportation, electricity generation, and various industrial processes, leading us closer to a greener and more sustainable future. Until now, the production of green hydrogen through photoelectrochemical technology has faced significant challenges, mainly due to low efficiencies and the high cost of semiconductors used in the process. The conversion of sunlight into hydrogen through water-splitting reactions holds immense promise as a clean and sustainable method to produce hydrogen, which is a vital component in various industries and clean energy applications. However, finding an efficient and cost-effective way to achieve this has been a major roadblock. However, the team led by Austin Fair in Aditya Mohite's lab at Rice University has introduced a groundbreaking invention that addresses these long-standing issues. Their photoelectrochemical cell shows exceptional efficiency and uses a remarkably inexpensive semiconductor, making it a potential game-changer in the field of renewable energy. The core innovation of their device lies in the transformation of their already highly competitive solar cell into a reactor capable of harnessing energy from sunlight to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. This approach is particularly attractive since it directly converts solar energy into a clean fuel source, eliminating the need for external power sources or energy storage systems. Nonetheless, the researchers encountered a significant challenge during the development process. Halite perovskites, while highly effective light absorbers, are known to be extremely unstable in water. This instability poses a significant problem when attempting to utilize them in water-splitting reactions. To tackle this issue, the team had to find a way to protect the semiconductor from degradation while allowing efficient electron transfer and maintaining the overall system stability. The key breakthrough came with the incorporation of an anti-corrosion barrier that effectively insulates the halide perovskite semiconductor from water. The barrier successfully prevents the degradation of the semiconductor while allowing the necessary electrochemical reactions to proceed efficiently. Finding this delicate balance between protection and functionality was critical in achieving the impressive solar to hydrogen conversion efficiency of 20.8%. What sets their invention apart from other photoelectrochemical cells is not only the record-breaking efficiency, but also the use of an economical semiconductor. Traditional semiconductors used in such devices can be expensive, which hinders their widespread adoption and commercial viability. However, the team's choice of a cost-effective semiconductor brings the promise of more accessible and affordable solar hydrogen production. Michael Wong, a chemical engineer from Rice University and a co-author of the study, revealed that for two years, the team tirelessly experimented with various materials and techniques in search of the best solution. After many trials without the desired outcome, they finally had a breakthrough. The key insight that led to success was the realization that a two-layer barrier was necessary. One layer would effectively block water from damaging the semiconductor, while the other layer would ensure a good electrical connection between the perovskite layers and the protective coating. Austin Fair further explained that their achievement set new records in the field of photoelectrochemical cells without requiring solar concentration. Additionally, their device demonstrated the best overall performance among those using halide perovskite semiconductors. This groundbreaking advancement is particularly significant because it breaks away from the traditional reliance on expensive semiconductors. Instead, it presents a pathway to potentially make this type of device commercially feasible for the first time ever. The researcher's barrier design demonstrated its versatility by effectively working with various reactions and different types of semiconductors. This adaptability makes it applicable to a wide range of systems. Aditya Mohite expressed the team's aspirations that these systems will serve as a platform for facilitating diverse fuel-forming reactions using abundant feedstocks, all powered solely by sunlight. Austin Fair also emphasized the potential impact of this technology, envisioning a future where improvements in stability and scalability can lead to a transformation of the way humans produce essential goods. By shifting from fossil fuels to solar fuel, this innovation could pave the way for a thriving hydrogen economy. 
revolutionizing the world's energy landscape and contributing significantly to a sustainable and environmentally friendly future. While the breakthrough in hydrogen production is promising, ensuring public safety is of utmost importance. Hydrogen is highly flammable, and there have been incidents, like the one in California where a hydrogen fuel cell bus caught fire during the fueling process. Fortunately, the bus's safety mechanisms prevented the fire from spreading to the primary hydrogen tanks at the fueling station. Despite the damage to one bus and the dispensing portion of the station, the advanced safety technology in place proved effective in containing the blaze and safeguarding the crucial storage and supply tanks. Eyewitnesses reported hearing and seeing explosions from the filled bus before the fire occurred. While such accidents are rare, it highlights the need for rigorous safety measures and continued improvements in hydrogen technology to minimize risks and ensure public confidence in its use. If the issue of hydrogen safety can be effectively addressed, it would indeed be a game changer. Currently, companies like Toyota and other advocates of hydrogen fuel cell technology have been investing substantial amounts in building the necessary gas infrastructure, including fueling stations and pipelines, to support the widespread adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles. However, if the newly developed photoelectrochemical cell can efficiently convert sunlight into hydrogen, it offers a more decentralized and self-sustaining approach to hydrogen production. This means that companies could potentially generate their own hydrogen on site, reducing the reliance on extensive gas infrastructure and making it more practical to incorporate hydrogen-powered transport into various regions. With this breakthrough, the prospect of a self-sufficient and environmentally friendly hydrogen economy becomes more viable. Companies and industries that rely on hydrogen could become less dependent on centralized suppliers and more resilient against disruptions in the hydrogen supply chain. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.